I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from what? All my fears. Next verse. We are reading to four to seven. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. Six. The poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of how many? All his troubles. Last verse. The angel of the Lord encampeth around them that fear him and delivereth them. Prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons, but especially this season. Lord, what is happening around my life? My wife just got attacked. My son just got attacked. My job just got attacked. I am not understanding what is happening. I set myself like Daniel onto prayer. God grants you grace. You can add with fasting. Add with fasting. This spiritual laziness of eating anyhow, anytime. Many believers now fast as a ceremony. Three days fasting, you carry it on your head as if, you, as if it's, it's 12 years fasting. If you love food more than your destiny, life will cheat you again and again. Food is okay, oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones, you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it. There are many of you here, you cannot remember. I may be wrong, I'm not saying you should do it. Please, I'm not saying you should do it. But as far as I'm concerned, there are spiritual levels that if you get to, a week should never pass that you did not fast. You are joking. You are joking. Not with what you are doing to hell. You are joking. Seven days. Ah, no. Himarama. <laughs> Imarama Imarama To the king who sits on the throne Imarama To the king Listen, let me tell you this I will continue to teach you this secret real victory real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise real men of power contact power when men sleep may god give you the grace to rise above sleep i'm praying from the may god give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you that god can wake you up in the night no light off the light you are praying don't allow distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light. You are in the night alone. And watch what happens. You are nobody seeing what you are doing. But there is a register. Every day you are signing. It is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. You don't come on stage and talk nonsense lion of the tribe of judah rose of sharon lily of the valley rose of this and that and that god is not a scammer he's not a magician no track record in the secret place you will flatter yourself to nothing in it in the open please learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night receive grace to dedicate night times and pray God didn't give you a house just to keep things. 
Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. Shakatoska a time will come you feel like just leaning get up and say satan you are a liar i'm going far a time will come your tongues begin to change what you are saying it will never be what you started with you are you, you have entered a level in the spirit tongues are languages and their levels of power contact groanings that cannot be uttered you get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray there are times that only one word one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes pray it you are receiving power Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Shekas kaparakatos, embrekete keleka takatos, shikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is winning. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch. My brother and my sister, if you pray from your heart, some things will shift. You will wake up in the morning and know I shifted this through prayer. There are attacks that only prayer can challenge. Pray for me, pray for me is wonderful. But you must become the priest of your destiny. Can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salamakata. Senakandas kama hasabash. Rakata pakato sopokoto sheketelekata. Emprata seneketo shadikata. Tasete shanahaskabaratos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, 
while men slept, the enemy came and saw tears. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. Who sits upon the white home? Who the king sits upon the white Shela bakatare kotosia ni marama ni marama ni marama to the king who sits on the throne ni marama. To the king who sits on the throne. Call on to me. Zechariah chapter 12. We'll stop here and pray. We'll continue next week. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10. Come up here through prayer. Verse 10. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, said the Lord. And I will pour upon the house of David, the house of Koinonia, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplication. And they shall look upon me whom they have pierced, and they shall mourn for him as one mourned for this and that and that and that. The spirit of grace and supplication is a spirit that comes upon you to pray. If you pray only because you are in prayer band, you are not a prayer warrior. A prayer warrior is not somebody, what is, who is a warrior? Remove prayer. A warrior box at length every day. A warrior chef cooks every day, whether there's an appointment or not. A warrior lecturer teaches every day. A prayer warrior prays every day. If a prayer warrior prays only when there are people there so that they will hear your voice, you are doing exactly what the scribes were doing. The scribes and the Pharisees were never called prayer warriors. They were called hypocrites. Are we together? We'll take 10 minutes or so to pray. Come up here new dimensions in the spirit hallelujah before we pray just cry in one minute lord thank you for what you have done at this level but baptize me with a fresh hunger a hunger that swallows up every achievement that has been wrought in God in my life. Thank you, oh God, for the people I have mentored. But a fresh hunger. Pray for a baptism of spiritual hunger. Culminating into passion. Not just passion for studying books. Not just passion for studying the Bible. Not just passion for going to church. Not just passion for serving in the house of God. Passion to pray. Not just praying and asking. Praying and growing. Praying and rising. Are you praying? Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God, Honga o God. Shake it, take it, take it, take. Rakata branda skada balakato. Honga, Honga. Shake it, 
challenge pride challenge the deceptiveness of fame the deceptiveness of fame glory thank you lord for these things you have done but i cry for hunger i cry for a test to understand what you are saying next to understand what you are doing next Hallelujah. 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 In the next maybe five to ten minutes, I just want you to blast in tongues. You are not challenging any demon. You are not asking God to give you anything, no tea, no bread, no anointing, no ministry. You are praying for your edification, that your spirit man be built. Enlarge your capacity in the spirit. Enlarge your vision in the spirit. Enlarge discernment in the spirit. Shanabash, Rakata, Rakata, the Brakatelech, Sham Prato, Sekete, La Paranta, Scaparo, Seketa, Epros, Camarato, Shelecato, Sebret, Sekanegenegenebos, Caprato, Scaparo, Sasia, Bakata, Empro, Nasada, Shala, Bros, Geneva, Shalemabos. Though our outward man perish, yet the inner man is renewed. Pray, believers. Pray and rise into untold dimensions. Come up here. Access to light. Come up here. Access to true power. Come up here. Access to untold dimensions of the workings of the spirit. The spirit of grace and supplication. The body, the flesh may be weak, but I tell you, the spirit is willing, willing to go to a higher dimension. 
willing to go to a higher phase willing to come up to a level where you will see the things that must happen pray young and old be a man of God you don't have to be a woman of God you don't have to be a deacon you just need to be one hungry and passionate for another dimension higher than that which you have seen Don't be tired. For my spirit man, on behalf of the generation committed to me, on behalf of the, the misguided to me, Do not be drunk with wine wearing his excess, but be ye filled with the Spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart to the Lord. It's speaking parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Men ought always to pray. The, the cure for spiritual laxity is prayer. The cure for spiritual limitation is prayer. The cure for timidity and weakness is prayer. cure for weakness in ministry is prayer. The cure for spiritual weakness is prayer. The cure for aberrated dreams and visions, prayer. The cure for stale revelations, prayer. The cure for the absence of power, prayer. The cure for newness without freshness. Prayer. Shalabarakata. Makata braskata barakate. Shakata shakata shasekan. Ambrata barakata bata. 